So we're building a 1.5 ounce asymmetrical cruising spinnaker. And here's the panel diagram. The entire clue section and tack section are white, 1.5 ounce nylon. The entire head section is 1.5 ounce nylon, as is the two horizontal sections, which are made up of vertical panels. And that's all, one section is red and the other section is blue. I've got the blue one totally stuck together and I've got it on the floor here. And you can see that the bottom edge of the panel has quite a bit of curve in it. I've got a line, a mason's line on there, but it's tough to see it at this angle. But those rulers show how the panels are oriented in that section. There's 18 of those panels stuck together to make that. And now we're going to put together the other horizontal out of red fabric. We're at Ace Sailmakers in East Lime, Connecticut. We had the sail designed by my great friend Ralph, an excellent sail designer. And we had the panels computer cut by Todd and Sean. And we're putting them together here at Ace Sailmakers. They're going to be stuck together with double-sided seam stick. And then they're going to be sewn with a triple step stitch using 46 thread. So I got the red panels down here. They're all numbered. Unfortunately, these panels don't have a seam allowance drawn on them. I prefer to work with uh, panels that have the seam allowances drawn on them. It goes much faster for me. Uh, here we've got 16 panels. Let's start with panel number 16. We're just going to lay it out and see how it looks and try to figure out which edge is uh, probably the leech. And we can tell this would be the leech because it's got quite a bit of hollow in it. So this would be panel 16. And we'll grab panel 15. I'm just going to put it next to it to see how everything lines up and if it's lining up properly. This has got the number 16 here. This panel has the number 15 here, so it looks like it's right. These edges line up perfectly, as do these. So we're going to start with 16 and work our way down to 1. Put two pins on this end, two pins on the other. We're going to tension the fabric to take what I call the spring out of it, just to flatten it out nicely so you can uh, tape the other panel to it. As you tape the other panel to it, you're going to try to mimic the tension you just put in this panel. You're going to try to mimic that tension with the other panel as you tape it to it. So I'm going to use double sided seam stick. I'm going to continue a couple inches past the panel so it's nice and flat there. There isn't any pucker. Go right along the edge. I like to take a pencil and draw it down the inside of this tape. Uh, usually the panels would have a drawn line there by the computer when the computer cutter cuts the panels. But uh, Sean didn't do it for me. So we got panels 16, here comes 15. You can start at either end. I, I prefer to start on the right and work left when I'm assembling these smaller panels. We want to try to, of course, line up this edge perfectly, sort of hover over it stick it down for a half inch or so and then line up the rest and stick that down. Usually I pull it back up a couple inches before I put down another couple feet just so it goes down nice and fairly. tape that I take off of the fabric, roll that up into a little ball, put it over here. Same with this side, cut the excess tape off, roll it up so it's not sticking to the rest of the panels. Push this over, pin it in with a couple pins. Tension it, 
lightly. If you're tearing from the pins, of course, it's too much tension. And you eyeball the edge of this panel to make sure it's a nice fair curve. Sometimes the cutter will have a little hiccup and you have to adjust to that. Eyeball the edge, the edge is fair. A couple inches off the top. Right along the edge of the fabric. Edge looks good.
Okay, this, this panel does have a problem down at the very end of it, the far end. I'll show it to you. You can see there's a bad cut that lasts 10 inches or so. So what I'm going to do is uh, take a batten and draw a seam allowance line there on the panel, which I'll tape the next panel to. mimic the curve that's in the panel and draw a fair curve that I can take to. Now we've got the line drawn that we're going to tape to so you don't have to worry about being right along the edge of the panel in this particular uh, scene. So next we're going to panel 11. So we'll continue this for another 10 panels and then we'll have this sewn and we'll have the two sections done. 